HID light fixture tester, which is actually used to check the starting pulse of the open circuit voltage of the ballast. This particular HID tester is suitable for HID ballast circuit uh, with a starter igniter for lamp types of HPS, MH, and MV up to 150 watts. Now some might actually be asking what are those particular abbreviations stand for? Well the HPS actually stands for high pressure sodium and the MH actually stands for testing metal halide and the MV is mercury vapor uh, types of lamps. This particular high intensity discharge lamp fixture tester can be used for checking the starting pulse of the open and uh, voltage circuit. Uh, this particular one comes in two models. We actually make a standard voltage one which runs up to 150 watts which is actually the model base and you alone comes with another one which is the medium based standard testing. This particular ballast tester is used and it's very very easy to test. Simply screw in this small compact and convenient tester into the igniter, turn the power on and what it will actually do is the little igniters here on the back of the ballast tester will actually uh, indicate if it is actually the ballast, the igniter, or the starter that is incorrect. Today I'll be showing you just exactly how easy it is to plug in this high intensity discharge lamp fixture tester. What I'll do first and what needs to be cautious is always have the igniter power off. So what I'm going to do is power down the power, I'm going to plug it in, screw it in, show you exactly how easy it is to check for your igniter, your starter, or your ballast. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just screw it in and what I'm doing is I'm testing the standard watts of probably anywhere from about 100 watts to 150 watts and what we'll actually be checking today is for high pressure sodium along with metal halide and for this particular base we'll be using the medium base uh, lamp fixture tester and what I'll do now is I'll just distribute on the power and as you see here we have the first one actually if the lamp blinks it indicated that the lamp is actually okay. Now it also states that if the lamp does not blink then you probably want to check your starter. But for this particular situation the starter is perfectly fine. The second one here shows here on the second indicator that if the lamp lights up then the actual ballast is okay. If it does not light up then the ballast actually needs to be replaced and changed. But showing here it looks like all the grounded wires and the circuits are actually fine. So what we're going to do is go ahead and power off now and I just want to conclude here that the uh, that is exactly how easy it is to champ for ballast, igniter, starter testings. This is Gary Phillips reporting from Texo Instruments. You all have a great day.